Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll go through the steps to uninstall the Windows 10 October 2018 update or version 1809 to go back to your previous installation. You may want to do this because the update is not working correctly, the installation didn't complete successfully and you need to reinstall it. Before proceeding you have to make sure that you have the windows.all folder and the C drive If you don't have the folder, you won't be able to uninstall the new version as the folder contains the previous installation files. Also, it should be noted that you can only do this during the first 10 days since you installed the October 2018 update. After the 10 days, Windows 10 will automatically delete the windows.all folder and you won't be able to uninstall this version. If you want to roll back after the 10 days, the only way to do this is to do a clean installation of Windows 10 without the October 2018 update. Once you verify that the windows.all folder it's present on your hard drive. Open the settings app, go to update and security. On recovery, under go back to the previous version of Windows 10, click the get started button. Select the reason why you're going back and click next. Click not thanks. Make sure to understand that as you go back to the previous version, you may need to reinstall some applications and programs and you will lose any changes you may have made to the settings after installing the new version of Windows 10. And now click Next. If your password to log in into Windows 10 is different from the one you had in the previous installation, make sure to know it, otherwise you won't be able to log in into your computer. And click Next. And this is the last step. Once you click the Go Back button, your computer will restart and the rollback process will begin. This process should not affect your files but it's always a good idea to create a full backup of your computer and data in case of something goes wrong. I don't need to remove the latest version of Windows 10 on this computer, so I will click the cancel button, but that's exactly what you need to do to uninstall the October 2018 update and go back to your previous installation. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date for version 1809 and more. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.